Welcome back to GBA Tennis. I'm Neil Parker. I was in Wimbledon last summer and I shot some footage of uh, the pros practicing and some matches that I'd share it with you. The topic today is the serve, specifically a part of your arm that moves with a pronation. Woo, watch out for that bird. You want to have a good pronation, it's got to start with a, with a good continental grip. And here's uh, David Ferrer with his continental grip. And does chalk fly? Well, what is a pronation? What does the dictionary say? To turn or rotate the hand or forearm so that the palm faces down or back. So if we have a look, a little slow down here of David Ferrer. You can see there's that rotation of his forearm and then there's his palm down and back. Something else the arm does, if you, if you do a good pronation, is after the impact, the arm will make a, a kind of a letter C here. So that's something, a, a trait you'll see with all players who do a good pronation. And as you learn to hit a good pronation, you may want to start to, to change the direction of your serve or even add spins. Really avoid learning uh, carving on the outside of the tennis ball like this. It's just a, not a great pronation. So how do you change direction or add spin with a, a pronation? Well, Roddick is going to show us. Here he pronates out wide with just a filthy serve there. Now, here we see the same grip, the same impact point, and the same swing speed. And he just fools his partner here with an ace down the tee. All right, so let's go side by side. You can see a lot of the similarities here. Uh, there's the wide and the T, and I think the subtle difference here, it's, it's about the, the path of the racket. So same grip, same impact point, same speed. Here you, get, you see the Roddick on the left has a, just a little more inside to outside path. Roddick on the right, a little more of a back to front path. All right, so if his speed is virtually the same, he's using a different path. There's something else that's slightly different, and that's the angle of the racket face. Here, Roddick on the left, his angle of his racket face is hitting more on the outside edge of the ball, where Roddick on the right is hitting more on the back part of the ball. Hey, I got a great video on GBA. It's about the pass principles. Check it out. All right, so why pronate? Well, you're gonna get more power if you have a natural throwing motion, which is connected to a pronation. Much better to use the same grip. Spins, you're gonna be able to hit different types of spins when you want. And when you have the same impact point, the same grip, the same racket speeds, you're gonna be able to disguise your serve much better. So how do you practice a disguise? Well, you can use a serve doctor or you could have somebody calling out uh, wider T before you impact the ball to really practice uh, the same impact with a good pronation. I highly recommend you check out these two great websites, acecoach.com with Wayne Elderton and Loris Coaching Solutions with Larry Jurovich and Louis Kaye. Hey, thanks a lot for, for joining me. See you next time on GBA Tennis.